Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Huckberry exclusive colorway of the James brand, the Carter. So the Carter is uh, one of the James brand's uh, most popular and prominent EDC knives out there. It features their slide lock as well as a nice ambidextrous uh, thumb disc. This OD green, orange, and black colorway is exclusive to Huckberry. And before we dive deeper into the review, I have to give a big shout out to Huckberry for sending this knife my way. Huckberry is an online shop and journal that brings people the best new brands, gear, and stories to inspire you. Huckberry is a great fit for me since they have a great selection of clothing, footwear, as well as EDC gear like knife and multi-tools. They offer a number of quality exclusive house brands as well as some of my favorite third-party brands like Leatherman and New Balance. If you'd like to check out what Huckberry has to offer, I've left an affiliate link down in the description. Let's start off with the usual size comparison. Here it is up against the Benchmade Mini Bugout, one of my favorite smaller EDC knives. Here it is up against the Benchmade Bugout, the full-size Bugout, definitely one of my favorite for EDC. Here it is up against the Civivi Elementum Button Lock. Uh, here it is up against the Spyderco Paramilitary 3, or Para 3 for short. And lastly, here it is up against the large Chris Reeves Sabenza 31. As you can see, the Carter is a little bit on the smaller side in terms of EDC knife size. It's not a tiny knife by any means, but I feel like it is more comparable to the Benchmade Mini Bugout versus the Full Size Bugout. And uh, the Para 3 uh, is basically the smaller version of the classic Paramilitary 2. Uh, as you can see, the Para 3 is definitely a bit bigger than the Carter. And now let's do a size comparison up against the ruler. In terms of overall length, uh, the Carter comes in at around, uh, looks like a little over six and a half inches in terms of overall length. I know it's slightly curved. And then in terms of sharpened blade length, uh, it comes in at around two and three quarters of an inch uh, below three inches so it's legal almost everywhere. So the blade is made out of Japanese VG10 steel. It's also uh, black DLC coated, so it has even more corrosion resistance. VG10 is a mid-grade steel, excels in corrosion resistance. It's a very popular steel for Japanese knives. Uh, that corrosion resistance is definitely great for the kitchen. Uh, it has average edge retention and average toughness. Uh, VG10, I, I mean, it's an okay steel. It's definitely great for uh, food prep and kitchen knives. But I feel like at the $150 price point, I feel like they could have went with a higher end steel or at the very least a powdered steel. I feel like the $150 price range is a very competitive price range. Uh, the knife is also made in China and the fact that you can get American made knives with uh, Magna Cut steel. Uh, Magna Cut, for those of you who don't know, is basically considered the perfect knife steel that just excels in all three aspects of a knife steel and you can get that steel on the Hogue Deca for around like 130 in terms of street price. Uh, the handle material is considered cheaper but I feel like in the $130 to $150 price range VG10 is kind of a letdown in terms of steel. At the very least they should have used the steel with better edge retention since this is an EDC knife. The handles are made out of OD Green G10. It's it has that classic grippy G10 texture. The handle itself has a nice shape, so it's great for gripping. I like this little groove for the top two fingers. And then uh, exclusive to uh, Huckberry in this colorway would be the bright orange accents. Uh, the James brand has basically this same colorway, uh, but uh, without the orange accents. I believe the orange accents are like silver or black, but uh, I really love this Huckberry exclusive colorway because of the pop of orange. I feel like orange and OD green is just such a great colorway when it comes to knives and uh, that's present in the backspacer as well as the thumb disc. The thumb disc allows for great ambidextrous opening whether that be uh, deliberately at the front uh, obviously flicking it open or reverse flicking it. The knife comes with an ultra deep carry pocket clip in black. You also get the James brand logo at the bottom of the clip. It's ultra deep carry because the clip actually comes above the actual knife itself. Deep carry clips for me are a must for EDC knives and an ultra deep carry clip is even better. And then lastly, in terms of mechanism, you have uh, phosphor bronze washers 
and you have uh, the James brand slide lock, which is their version of the ever so popular crossbar lock. The slide lock allows for uh, ambidextrous opening and closing. You can open and close the knife simply by uh, pulling back on the slide lock. It's very nice. It's a finger safe lock and it's finger safe because you don't have to access the lock and push the knife in with your fingers in the way of the knife. Another must for me in terms of EDC knives, I love crossbar locks. I love button locks as well as spider coast compression lock because of the finger safe option as well as it being fidgety and easily one hand operable in terms of opening and closing. Another slight downside to this knife would be a lack of jimping up in the blade and uh, spine of the knife. It's definitely not the end of the world but jimping is always nice to have some extra grip when you are choking up the knife with your thumb on the back of the blade or behind uh, the uh, scales of the knife. While the blade still leaves a little to be desired in the price point and there is a lack of jimping behind the blade. I still really like this knife and it's mostly because of the awesome colorway in OD green and orange and what I consider to be essentials for an EDC knife. You got a uh, one hand operable lock that's also finger safe. You have multiple ways of opening the knife as well as a deep carry pocket clip and you also have great ergonomics in terms of handle shape. I can definitely see why the Carter is one of the James brand's best sellers. It has a lot of great aspects for any EDC knife enthusiast. I feel like if there's just one change, if they could upgrade the steel to a steel that had better edge retention, I feel like they would have a real winner and a bigger competitor in the $150 price range. So what do you guys think of the Carter from the James brand? Do you guys agree with my takes in the pros and cons of the knife? I'd definitely like to know down in the comments. Another big thanks to Huckberry for sending the knife my way. That's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and thanks for watching.